What's up everybody, it's Paul. We are in front of the saltwater coral quarantine tank. We got new coral, let's do it. All right, everyone, here we go again. Another box of coral. Let's get into it and see what we got. Heat pack warm, packed well. There it is, there's the goods, guys. Ooh, look at that. Not even, not even in circulating water. And look at that. Oh man, this thing is awesome. Wow. Looks great. Okay. A little smaller than I thought, but still fine. Nice. Nothing looks like it's dead, which is fantastic. Very good. All right, into the water they go to temperature acclimate. Oh. And then shut down the lighting. All right, everybody. So what we're gonna do now is get the bags out of the tank and get them opened up. Now, one thing to definitely keep in mind if you are not used to coral, the water does fly out of the bags because there is no air in them. All right, so here are the frags. Look at this guy. That thing is awesome. Oh, man. So the next step to help these guys acclimate, we got some of the tank water from the coral tank, and we're just going to... Add a little bit of this water at a time every couple minutes or so. That's what I'm going to do just to help the parameters all match up. Okay, so we got uh, the coral uh, temp acclimated and we also got them acclimated to the parameters of the water in the coral quarantine tank. So the reason why I'm moving these out for a quick moment is we got this filled up to the 32 ounces, which is a quarter gallon. Now this Revive, it is one cap full is for every quarter gallon. So I'm gonna do a double dose, which I'm not concerned about, I've done it before. So this covers that amount of water and we'll just do another one reason I took them out was just so we could get the solution in there, mix it up. And then we're gonna start to place the coral back into this container. And they sit for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna mess around with using a turkey baster to get some water over them, shake them, just to kind of mixture of a few things. Some time has gone by since these have been in here, not quite 15 minutes. We're gonna use the baster and we're gonna go ahead and just start getting a little bit of water over these guys. And you guys may see, see all that stuff flying off right there? Yep. I definitely recommend having a turkey baster to do this and pulling them out of the water a smidge because it'll just help dislodge any other pests. Next step is gonna be to break this off of the actual coral because I like to use new plugs. There we go. Go ahead and stick that back in there. Now what we're doing is ripping off all of the plugs that the coral came on. Reason being, you never know what could be on those plugs. And I just feel it's best practice to change them, I've seen it around, and that is what I like to do. So pulling off those plugs isn't too bad. And then you wanna go and scrub them down, scrub the skeleton structure of the coral, just to get any potential pests off of them and that is on these LPS corals.
So I've had a couple of comments on some other coral videos I've done about getting this spray that you use to help the glue set. I haven't had a chance to get that yet, and I will tell you it's definitely something I'm going to get because the glue works well, but when you put the coral frag on the plug, you gotta hold it for a bit because it's not adhering right away. So I know having that spray will make a massive, massive difference. So I definitely need to invest in some of that just to make this process a little bit easier, a little bit smoother. All right, all the coral are done. What I wanted to do was move the corals that I got last time onto the second row of the frag rack so that the new corals can be on the first row of the frag rack closest to the front of the glass so we could see them easily. All right, everyone, let's check out the coral. Look at these beautiful pieces of coral. So let's go ahead and start with the back row. So we got that tall red one right there. That is my original Blastomusa. Then we got the green Toxic Acan. Then we got that Party Acan. Then we got the Watermelon Acan. And then we got the Sunrise Acan. I have one I had from a while back that's not doing so good. But those are all doing fantastic. Look at them. All right, let's take a look at the new coral that we got. So this one right here is called the Fruit Punch Acan. It's just got a whole bunch of different colors and it still needs obviously more time to keep getting more settled in and happier and all that good stuff, but this guy is doing fantastic. Next is this guy, three heads. They call it the OG Acan, beautiful red. And you can see a little bit of different colors on the edge of the flesh. But then you can see the mouth right there. I mean, this thing is just absolutely amazing as well. Next is this guy. It's called the Golden Acan. Now, we'll get some top-down view of these guys shortly. But it's got a really awesome green mouth area. It looks cool. Now, this one right here. They call it the Mars Acan. It's a nice green. It's got a purple area around where the mouth is. Super awesome as well. And we got this guy. This is, they call it a glass blasto. Blasto Musa. It's a purple and it's got a green uh, section on the inside. And this thing is just fantastic. Look, look at it. It already has small areas that are spreading where there's gonna be more heads on this guy just incredible look at that incredible so let's go ahead and take a look at the corals that i had before so this is the blasto you can see the red one right here on the left then we got this beautiful toxic acan the green and the purple is oh man love it then we got the party acan watermelon acan sunrise acan and then this one's just not doing so good the sunrise is doing better than it looks uh the flesh is just a little dark right now here is the first new one this is the glass blasto man the purple and green is just amazing next up we got this one called the mars acan it's the green it's got that purple mouth looks like an eye Man, that thing is cool. Then we got this guy here, two heads, the golden Acan. So it's got the gold flesh and a little different color on the outside. And then that center is just a lime green. Fantastic. Then we got the OG Acan, three heads, red, just, man, that's cool. Different shade of red, which is great. And then we got this guy on the end, the Fruit Punch Acan. Man, once these guys settle in, stunning pieces of coral. What do you guys think of the new coral that we got? Please comment down below what you think of the new coral. Also comment what you guys think about the old coral. This is awesome, I love it. If you guys were fans of this video and fish videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. Also, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing all that other good stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Stay tanked.